Yes, uh, bona ziua. Another very, very difficult game for us tomorrow, um, especially with Hermastad that they showed that they are a very serious team, very compact team. We will have to have big patience in the game. Um, our target for one more time is to take the three points and um, we don't have much to say. We have to do everything in the pitch in order to take the three points that are, will be very important for us for one more time. How is the atmosphere after the Cluj game? Uh, the Cluj game has finished. You know, um, everybody saw what happened, but uh, we don't have to... We have to forget, unfortunately. It's, sometimes it's difficult, but uh, I'm a person that in good moments or in bad moments, you have to leave them behind. Unfortunately for us, it was a sad uh, day, a bad day, from uh, not from uh, my players, but from some other people. But it's done, and now we focus only on the game on uh, Hermastad. Well, the rest of the pitch injured, uh, what is his situation? Now? He's 100% ready to play tomorrow. Maybe. Okay, he will be out, but uh, I'm a person that uh, believes on the players we have. You know, and we have a big squad, and uh, um, I believe that we have players to recover Compagno and who will be, who is fit and who is ready and available to play, will play. We saw that you suffer in the last matches at home, only one win in the last uh, five games. Fetches a very, uh, in the last years uh, was a very strong team at home. What do you think is the problem this season? It's, uh, it's true. Uh, it's something that uh, worries us, and I said it also last week. Um, and uh, I believe in, um, let's say, in the derbies, we show much better performance, and uh, in this kind of games, we have to be more focused and concentrated. Because you see, maybe especially uh, with Otselu, for example, home, we had the control of the game. But uh, these teams, we know that they will score in if they find one chance or two chances, they will score, and we knew these things. This is things that we have to manage well, better. You know me, look, I'm here nine months, nearly one year. I never spoke for referees. I never, especially when we lost games, I never excused myself and my team from the referees. I hope that last week was a human mistake, human mistakes. Okay, and I hope they will not happen to us again. I don't want to say that it was uh, on purpose the mistakes. I don't want to believe this. And uh, really, on our team this year, we have many human mistakes. But I don't like to complain. This is finished. Like we, maybe, and the players and us, maybe we are in a bad day. I wish that it was it, that happened in the last game also. The referee was in a bad game. Uh, and I saw Mr. Uh, Andone that he's Dynamo fan and trainer and uh, this shows uh, the character of uh, Mr. Andone that he's an opponent, let's say, and he spoke about the referee's mistake. And uh, he was in Cyprus, I don't know him personally, but this shows uh, what a person he is because he said the truth. Because sometimes opponents will not say the truth, but the way he acted was, for me, was he shows his personality. First of all, uh, if there are some offers for the players, uh, for sure the club and the, the players will be happy if they go in better level for them. You know, but uh, at the moment we have nothing concrete. But um, for sure, and I believe all of you will be happy to see Romanian players play, playing abroad. Uh, they are players uh, that they have big quality, and we have ma many more players with quality. And I hope I. I hope we don't lose them now, uh, this period, maybe in the summer, but 
I want to see them one day playing in a uh, higher level. So you are ready? We are, uh, we are ready. We, uh, you have to, in football, you have to be ready any moment, you know? Maybe with injuries, maybe with transfers, maybe you, you don't know what the next day will uh, show up. Do you have? Do you know they have an offer? It, it's rumors, you know. Now, as we uh, are closer to the transfer period, rumors will appear. You know, many rumors. You know, but you uh, want to keep it? Andrea, for sure, hundred percent. Do you think that you can use Gela when maybe she will be uh, called up for the national team for the African Cup of Nations? If he will be called from the national team, uh, these are the rules and he has to go, no? It, uh, you mean about the African Cup, no? Yes. Yeah, in these situations we cannot say nothing. Uh, we have to respect uh, this situation and uh, for sure, if he's called from the national team, he has to go. You will have three more players from a little break. Uh, how do you, will you rate these transfers? Uh, okay, I believe that they are players that they know the league. And uh, I'm sure that uh, they will help us. And uh, I, for us, it's very important that, first of all, we know the players and uh, they know the league. These two things are very important for us. In Cluj, you changed the, the system in the second half. With the new sign, new sign players, two of them, Mawa, Hassan, and Felipe, maybe the third one in January, uh, the right uh, defender from Armenia. It's possible to see your team playing in different ways, different systems? Look, the systems, because I hear many times system 4-2-3-1, 4-3-3, 5-4, 4-1, the systems are just, you know, for people and uh, for us to decide. In the game, many times uh, the players change positions, you know, you can see a striker on the wing, you can see a winger inside, so at the end, it's how the how we play our uh, idea our method. this this is what i believe more you know because the system is one and our philosophy is another thing you know we have our philosophy we have our idea of play so it doesn't matter to me uh, a lot to to speak about numbers and systems you know and always it depends on what kind of players you have you know you count on what what characteristics your players have this is how from my side, I see the, the, the game and the things. I expect uh, Baba Hassan to play tomorrow against you? I don't know. <laughs> the, the coach will decide. Uh, he's not, he, he will be Hermas that player until uh, the last two games. So they will decide. Yes, but do you think it's normal morally to play against you? It's not my decision. It's not my decision. It's their decision. Uh, they will decide. It's not something that when he comes here, we will decide. He will be in the squad. He has to come here to show what we saw until now, to be the one that we know. And uh, he will fight for his place like all the players fight for their place in the, the, the team. Can you tell us uh, what is the quality of, uh, of uh, Baba Hassan? Yes, Hassan yes. Before? First of all, uh, he's a player that uh, he knows football and he's a very strong player and he covers the midfield with his uh, pace, his, uh, he is a box-to-box -box player that I believe that we need this kind of player and I believe that he has the quality to be here. And Felipe? Yeah. Felipe, I, I saw him in our game, he's a different uh, player from Al Hassan. He has, uh, he's more technical, he can play in all the positions for me up front. Uh, he has big quality and we saw him in many games. And um, he will also be a guy that will come here and he, he, he has to fight for his place. It will be hard for you to decide from January from uh, three vice defenders, Panta Crespo and Antri, the new player that is coming from Armenia? Uh, look, first of all, uh, when you have a squad, you have to, all the time, you have to decide for the first 11. This is uh, the most difficult day for the uh, staff and the coaches and, uh, you know, but who will show the best and who will decide to play in uh, every week is the one who will start the game. This is how we see the things. The, the owner of the club announced the signings of uh, Baba Hassan and Bishan, uh, right before the game with uh, Hermasa and Polesh. Uh, do you think this is normal? Or 
multă de apucat de la staua la cezării, chiar de bruci. Și boza de la rapidul e preocupată. Fiind că e doar o altă nouă urmăimiță, mai întâmplă ce mai important că mai zis, eu însă o setă, ce zic pe care, dar trebuie să fie pe urmă, nu e chiar să fie zis. Okay, I think it's not so important, and I I don't think that he he was waiting for the moment to announce the players. He decided to announce it at that moment. I believe that is not a big deal. I mean, when he announced the players, he signed them. He was happy, and he announced them. Why are some different levels in the game of your team? I'm referring. Ups and downs, you mean? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I told you before because it's similar question that you I was asked before that it's something that really worries us. You know, um, the most important for me is that I believe one thousand percent to my players. Uh, I trust them a lot, and it's something that worries them also. Not only us, like coaching staff, it's something. Maybe it's mental, maybe it's mental, but this is what we have, uh, we are trying to solve and we have to solve it because, as I, as I said before, in, uh, let's say in the derbies, we show much better performance than the games that are, let's say, not derbies, but we see how more difficult are these kind of games. So we have to be uh, mentally more ready, I believe, in these kind of games. No, no, no. At the moment, uh, Kiri is making his rehabilitation. He's following the protocol uh, by the doctors, and uh, we are waiting for him. And we hope that he can arrive to play before the end of the season, uh, because these are the the news at the moment and the information that we have from the doctors. Okay, you know, in this kind of injuries, you can ne not be hundred percent sure, because you don't know what will appear during the the rehabilitation, but we hope that we'll have him for the last maybe two months with us to play. Because he's a very important player and a special person for the dressing room. Yes, thank you, thank you so much.